I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to have Kumi stepping into my studio today. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Special advisor to the Ministry of Environment yes. for Japan. Yes. I've got to ask, what about nuclear? How's it going? Oh, I, actually, like a nuclear situation is, uh, I have to say, under control in general. Mm -hmm. But there's still the decontamination issues back in uh, Fukushima area mm -hmm. is still going on. And also, unfortunately, I have to say, it will take uh, much longer than expected. So mm -hmm. it's still like an ongoing process and much, much longer. So uh, uh, I have to like apologize to those who live in the Fukushima area because they don't know when they can go back. Right. But we are doing our best. How has that affected trust in the government of Japan? How has that affected trust in, in nuclear in Japan? Well, actually, first of all, like for the trust in Japanese government and trust to the Japanese government people, I mean, thanks to the uh, political change uh, mm -hmm. back in, I think, a year and a half ago, now the current prime minister and the mm -hmm. current administration addresses the issue and try to disclose the information as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So now the public and the c public citizens do know uh, the, what exactly happened in the Fukushima area mm -hmm. or other related, I mean, the earthquake uh, uh, the hit area. Mm -hmm. But for the nuclear issues, uh, for those living in the cities like Tokyo and Osaka, they are quite skeptical and mm -hmm. most of them are against the nuclear reopening. Mm -hmm. But the, those who are living in the local cities, like for example where the nuclear reactors are located, mm -hmm. they do have a mixed feeling mm -hmm. because half of them, I mean, I would say they do understand the danger by looking, observing the situation in Fukushima. But at the same time, in order to secure the local employment, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the youth and young people, they may need to uh, accept the existence of the nuclear plant so that mm -hmm. the, their sons and daughters will have the job, a very decent right. one. So um, they do have a very like, you know, the mixed feelings. But uh, now we definitely, we means actually Japanese people need to have the, I think, a public debate, uh, even mm -hmm. those among the active citizens rather than the, with the politicians with the Tokyo Electric Company. So I think that, that will be the next step, immediate next step. Okay. I want to switch gears and talk a little bit about negotiations. Yes. Like climate change. <laughs> How's it going? What's going on? Well, actually, uh, since 2009, when mm -hmm. we had the, I think, the highest moment in uh, Copenhagen, that was mm -hmm. the 15th meeting of the COP, Conference mm -hmm. of Parties, uh, I have to say, I've been seeing, observing the kind of deja vu situation. Right. <laughs> because I've been doing this negotiation on and off since 1997. Right. So it's been 16, 17 years since mm -hmm. then. And uh, I saw the, exactly the same situation, I think, 10, 10 years ago, nine years right. ago. So for me, it's kind of a, re I mean, the rewind the video or DVD and the, watch the same <laughs> Watching movie. it again, Groundhog yes. Day again. Yes. Mm. But actually, this year, 2014, is a mm -hmm. really critical year yeah. because uh, negotiators and countries already agreed to uh, come up with the solution mm -hmm. and the new framework uh, for the global climate change issues mm -hmm. by the end of the next year. So we're going to have a meeting in Paris mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the 2015. Mm -hmm. So in order to come up with the key elements for the uh, negotiation and agreements, we need to have the decent and the very focused and deep discussions and negotiations throughout this year. And how confident are you that those are going to work out? Well, I'm always actually quite optimistic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said the same thing back in 2009. I right. was wrong. But uh, this year, I hope I'm going to be right. And, but actually, the countries, even the, there's, I see lots of divides, I mean, mm -hmm. the regarding opinions, how, like, a, what kind of a status they stand on. But at the same time, the people looking at the same direction, we need to come up with the agreement uh, at the end of the 2015. Maybe, like, the details that the, we can decide in 2016 and 17, because we still have some time. But without having the whole structure mm -hmm. uh, being agreed uh, among the 198 countries, uh, we cannot see any future because, you know, that's also the trust problem yep. uh, to the negotiators as well as also trust problem for the United Nations if this is a great and also right arena to discuss the climate change. Kumi, thank you very much for stopping by the Hub Culture. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I'm Edie Lush.